Hello all, welcome to lectures of electrical installation maintenance and testing. We are discussing unit 2, substation and earthing. And in this particular lecture, we are going to understand classification of substations. These are the learning outcomes for this lecture. At the end of this lecture, you will revise some concepts of substations. You can classify substations on different basis. And you can identify some new technology trends from this particular lecture. So what is substation? Substation is a source of energy supply for all of us, that is for local areas. But that is not the only work for substation. Uh, in this particular lecture, we are trying to explore some other works of substations. So it generally receives uh, energy from upper side and transmits energy with the desired changes. Now, uh, till date probably you have majorly focus on only voltage, but these desired changes might be in terms of voltage level, frequency, they can change your nature of supply also, they can be used simply for a switching of transmission lines also. So, uh, installation plays, uh, so substation plays another role that can be installation plays for a various equipment like synchronous condensers, your street light controls, they might also be there. And what are the characteristics? You, are, you have to choose a proper site for substation and most economic site is at the center of load gravity. So this is not a geographical center. Uh, you have to put a substation in such a manner that all the loads are at an equal distance from that. So it is called as a center of load gravity. Substation operation has to be safe, should be easily operated and maintained and must be having a minimum capital cost, very important requirement. Now there are different types of uh, or a basis of classification. You can have a nature of duties as a base, uh, what types of service they are giving it as a base, uh, operating voltage is also one of the base, uh, what is the importance of substation in overall power system that is also base and what type of design is being followed that is also base. So there are different types. Uh, in each and every uh, basis that we are going to see in detail. First one is primary substation, uh, always present next to generating station. The aim of this substation is to step up your voltage level. Uh, generally, uh, your voltage uh, power is generated at voltage level 11 kV or uh, 20 kV, around 22 kV, 33 kV. These kind of technologies are there. So, what you are doing for the sake of power transfer, Economic power transfer, you are always aiming at less current in the circuit because losses are I square R losses. So for lesser current, you are trying to have a higher voltage. So stepping up at next to a generator. So these are so step up substations usually associated with generating station. They are stepping up the voltage or economy of power transfer. Next to that, there will be presence of a primary grid substation which will take power as an input or energy as an input from primary substation and it will try to uh, pass that energy to next substations by stepping down, stepping down and stepping down. Okay. So these are located at primary transmission lines and primary transmission voltage is stepped down to a secondary and further reaches at primary distribution voltage level. Now next is step down or distribution substation which is generally present in our premises. So for the sake of your understanding, I have included some small single line diagram over here and you can understand uh, these transformer indications are nothing but substation. So this is step up substation, starting stepping down, stepping down. In this particular area also there will be another stepping down substation and then uh, the power will reach to us. So this, this clears our routine concept that stepping up voltage, stepping down voltage. But uh, there are some other functions of substations also. So depending upon what type of service is being rendered by substation, uh, they are classified as a transformer substation, routine concept again because they are changing the voltage level of power. But uh, there are some substations which may not have a presence of transformer, they are simply uh, playing the role of switching transmission lines. So they play a very important role in protection systems, system isolations. Uh, they, are, they are operating as a junction points in transmission system. 
So uh, this particular uh, substation is called as switching substation. So no transformation of voltage, only line switching. There will be some substations which are called as a converting substations. The typical equipment like ignitrons will be present in these substations. And they are changing your system nature of supply from AC to DC and DC to AC. And these kind of operations are required for attraction that is uh, the railway system, electroplating kind of applications or electrical building. So this is uh, classification on the basis of service rendered. Again, there are some more applications. You can change the frequency, might be required for industrial utilization. They may require some uh, different types of uh, frequencies. So that can be changed from substations. Power factor correction. So there is concept of synchronous condenser, overexcited synchronous motor, uh, acts like a capacitor, inputs uh, reactive power into the system. So you can give a place to equipment like synchronous condenser for power factor improvement and that substation will be called as a power factor correction substation. There will be another substation which is dedicated to a typical industry which is called as a industrial substation. Next basis is operating voltage. Very simple. High voltage, extra high voltage, ultra high voltage. You have to just remember the number. High voltage is up to 66. EHV we are calling starting from 132 up to 400. More than 400 it is UHV. In India currently 800 is operating. 1200 kV is currently in testing uh, which is at PINA. You might be aware of some of this information. Next is very typical basis which is importance. So substation may be present in the grid, substation may be present in your own town, substation may be present in your own colony. So compared to your uh, colony substation, the grid substations are always very important because if some problem occurs in those, they are handling more uh, amount of power or more energy or they are they are controlling more area. So there might be a failure of uh, grid also if some problem of, uh, if some kind of fault occurs in those substations. So these are typically called as a grid substation. Bulk power transmission is done at grid level. So fault in them may cause a grid failure. Your town substation important for all of us. So their function is to transfer energy amongst that particular locality. Uh, the faults may not cause a grid failure, but whole town may be in dark because of failure of these kind of substations. So this is basis which is called as uh, importance. Now, what is the basis of design? So design point of view, substation may be classified as an indoor substation or outdoor substation. Indoor substation may be required whenever uh, you are not having suitable conditions outside or uh, there might be some different type of technologies also being used. For example, conventionally we use oil type transformers, oil field transformers. If we are using dry type transformers, you can definitely install those transformers inside the building. So that is indoor substation. Simultaneously, uh, though these substations are up to voltage level 11 kV, you can have these substations at a higher voltage levels also if uh, you are having some contaminated uh, atmosphere outside like conductive dust or contaminated fumes. So for outdoor substations, definitely you can have all substations outdoor starting from 11 kV up to EHV. But uh, generally uh, 66 kV and above the compulsion is uh, they, those must be outdoor substations. You cannot put a 66 kV and above substations indoor because of their insulation requirements. So 11 kV substations can have again a pole mounted or a plinth mounted st structure. You can have a two pole structure, you can have a four pole structure. So my appeal is whenever you are walking on the road, you can definitely observe these kind of substations in your naked eyes, uh, with your naked eyes. Um, now. Uh, these are typically air insulated substation whenever you are having a pole mounted or you are having a plinth mounted but nowadays uh, in a city like Mumbai where uh, you cannot have uh, or you cannot afford uh, occupying a space 
the space is a constraint the new technology is being used which is called as a gas insulated substation or gas insulated switch gear where uh, you are using sf6 gas in place of air so uh, from this lecture you might have got the trigger to learn more about uh, gis so my appeal to all of you please go through the literature related with ais uh, and gis you can have some comparison which is going to be future of electrical power system uh, you all are welcome on the following link which i have created a padlet related with eimt discussion and please uh, discuss about your understanding or raise queries in the column of substation and arthing in that, that particular padlet uh, some of the reference books i am suggesting for understanding this topic one is jb gupta a course in power systems or uh, vk mehta rohit mehta principles of power systems see you in next lecture